everybody. Welcome back to Daily Flash. Mitch English along with Ray Pascal. You know, here we are in the middle of summer, and, or at mm -hmm. least the beginning of summer, and that comes with all that hot and humid weather oh, that yeah. really can make you sweat way more than usual. Yes. <laughs> and of course, as we know, we now need water. As water requirements increase to make up for the loss of those fluids, very important to understand what your hydration needs are. While we all know that dehydration is actually rare for most healthy adults, there are some exceptions especially for those who actually spend a lot of time outdoors, either working or even taking part in activities with certain health conditions that could find themselves with severe dehydration. So how do you know if you're actually getting enough water? Well, typically using thirst as a guide to let you know how much water you drink is a very simple way to start. You know, like when you're thirsty, your body's saying, I want some water. A person's water requirements actually vary all depending on not only your age, the climate activity, and even health status. Here's what we're talking about. Most people actually need to drink about half of their weight in ounces. Whoa. So to give you an idea of that, a 200 pound adult would actually need to drink at least 100 ounces of water okay. each and every day. Uh, give you a better idea, a 150 pound person would need to drink about 75 ounces. 75 I can ounces. do some math. There right. you go. You just, and that's an easier way to kind of remember it. So Very whatever good. That's helpful. Way it is. And of course, as we know, as we go into extreme heat conditions, there are some warning signs of, that you need to be aware of. That's right. What are those? Let's see. We have fatigue, confusion, headaches, dizziness, lightheadedness, flushed skin, dry or sticky mouth, and infrequent urination. Those are all signs that you're not getting enough hydration. Many people complain about the taste of water, actually, which is why they're not drinking enough. We have some tasty ideas on how to keep hydrated. First, we're gonna infuse your water with cucumbers, lemon slices, mint leaves, frozen blueberries, strawberries, all of that good oh, yeah. stuff gives it a nice bit of flavor. Another option, you can also add a splash of cranberry or grapefruit juice to seltzer water. It's a good way to get hydration and get some flavor as well. There are many foods with a high water content that can also help to keep you hydrated. Of course, popsicles, kids love those. Sometimes the adults who like to act like kids, those are good for them. And here are some others. We have lettuce, which is 96% water. So I can grab me, if you think about it, lettuce. Isn't it lettuce, or is it uh, cucumbers? I think one of them yeah. that, that actually, it, it, because of the caloric intake and because you're you know using your I mouth, think it's actually, calories. It's like negative calories, calories, right. calories, right? I've heard that. But if you add into that, you can add water. I mean, it has so much of that mm -hmm. water, it's going to be able to help you out. There's other other great foods also that are just packed with water. We have cucumbers, my personal favorite. I'm yep. always eating cucumbers. Celery, those negative calories Mitch was talking about. Tomatoes, 94% water in those. And then, of course, the namesake watermelon, <laughs> only 92%. You Come on, more, you think right? it should be more, absolutely. We also got strawberries. Surprisingly, that's 91% water. Cantaloupe, 90%. Peaches, 89. Oranges, 88. And grapefruit, another favorite of mine, that's 88%. You know what's interesting too is that all of these are in season right now. You know, during yeah. the summer months, which tells you, look, the, you know, the way the the world is made is like these are the things that are needed in order mm -hmm. to be able to stay hydrated. Very simple to do. So, um, I like making uh, when I, my kids were small, we would get like strawberries or grapes or whatever, and then put them in the little ice cream trays, and then put them in. And that way oh, you just grab the wow. ice cube and you can put it in the water and then it dissolves and that's You know, sort of I thing. used to have a really hard time with drinking water and I was trying to be more, I didn't even, it's not that I wanted soda, I just didn't, I was never thirsty, right? Yeah. So I actually bought a water bottle on Amazon that has lines on it and different times oh, of the okay. day. So I know at eight o'clock I have to be at this point, at four o'clock I have to be at this point, and it's been very helpful. But Yeah, yeah and yeah. apps do that as well. There's apps, apps that remind like, you. Drink your water. Drink your water and everything. So, you know, really it's extremely simple. As we mentioned too, that everything is kind of like in season right now. So you're able to get some of the watermelon, mm -hmm. put it in there, your strawberries. Uh, I've never thought about putting celery in water, but I guess if you're going to yeah. eat something, throw some celery in there. People make celery juice, any fruit. And you know, I don't juice. see why you don't have any issue with just, you know, kind of mixing yeah, things up. You want to do some watermelon water. with some grapes or whatever. Oh, yeah. Not sure about tomato water, though. Tomato uh, water. <laughs> tomato, pa tomato is packed. And it, it, really, if you think about it, it, the most, the easiest thing to actually even grow is I'm tomatoes. I'm going to be adventurous. Like. I'm going to do, do tomato that. water. And cucumber, I never thought I'd like cucumber water. Not only, ladies, are they good for your eyes. Get those bags out oh, from yeah. your eyes. You can also use them to hydrate. There you go. And then <laughs> when, once you get it all together, look how gorgeous that looks, too. You nice know, summer. A refreshing there. drink. There you go. So bon appetit and uh, enjoy your water <laughs> and, um, you know, flavor it up. That's Make sure right. you stay hydrated.